Hello everyone, it's Toad King here, and again I'm going to be playing some more of Skipper's 200km per hour distribution. Now last time I played in the Shell Cup, and this time I'm going to play on the uh, the Flower Cup, and thinking about using the Bit Bike again, um, but to add some variety, I'm going to try using um, the Bullet Bike. And this vehicle doesn't have a lot of acceleration, so it will be definitely more difficult um, and not quite as well suited for 200 km per hour. But for the tracks here in the Nature Cup, um, as it's called here, or just the Flower Cup, we have Seaside Resort, Sunset Bridge, Mountain Adventure, and Underground Mine. Let's jump into this. Alright, now Seaside Resort still is only one lap, uh, and I mean, it kind of makes sense because at the end, uh, you, it, it's not a looping track basically, it's kind of meant to be one lap, and it does respawn you after you finish the race and bring you back to the beginning of the track, and I mean, it is a bit short being only one lap, but I understand why, um, like I said, it would be kind of weird to have a track that forces you to be respawned. Now, um, unfortunately, I can't go in the underwater section, um, by, at least if you go off that ramp, it'll just send you way too far, and you'll just be counted out of bounds. Um, you could probably manage to avoid their ant but still go underwater but by then I wouldn't even think it's any faster than um, going above ground and right here you could actually just skip all those ramps which is pretty nice so this track plays pretty well for 200 kilometers per hour definitely a great choice since um, the track is wide it has a few straightaways and that turn right there I Shouldn't have cancelled my drift so early. Um, and I was going quite fast as well. Since the bullet bike is a lot faster than the quacker. Now uh, there, it's definitely, um, I think it's best to just jump over that, uh, boost on that ramp. Since it, it's, it sends you pretty far and then you have to brake anyways. Um, so yeah, that was this track, Seaside Resort. Um took me a minute and a half to finish there so two laps I mean it would be a little bit long so um, you know one lap isn't too bad I mean one and a half minutes is not too short I guess so yeah I think that track plays well other than um, the fact that you can't really go underwater the way you're intended but um, yeah overall pretty nice on to the next race Alright, now we have this track, Sunset Bridge, which, um, the turns are pretty sharp and there's no guard railings, so you have to brake a ton, and, uh, there's this one ramp that sends you flying, like, way off the track, um, in which you also have to brake before going off the ramp. Um, and I also found out, uh, just by playing this, um, in time trial mode, that... You could kind of make a shortcut, um, like there's this respawn point that you can manage to get by like flying off the ramp and towards the finish line, skipping like two turns or something, um, and it'll respawn you right in front of the finish line. I'm not sure if there's a way to do it without getting respawned, um, but if there is, that'd be pretty awesome. I mean, it already saves time with the respawn. So right here is the ramp that, um, I don't know, like I, I kind of braked too much there, I just came to a standstill. So right there, that's good. Um, the ramp kind of bounces you up before you uh, manage to like, um, get through the whole boost, which is pretty nice. Um, I don't know if it's been modified or adjusted for... Uh, 200 kilometers or any anything like that but you know it's pretty nice that it has that um, 
as otherwise you just go flying off pretty much all the time unless you like manage to hop over a lot of the boost. Um, but the bullet bike is way harder because I believe with the higher acceleration vehicles you might also be able to brake faster. I'm not sure about that, but I think that's true. And there again, I slowed down too much to make the jump. Um, yeah, it seems to bounce you up the ramp like before you make it to the top pretty much every time. Which, I mean, it works if you're going fast enough, but I don't know, man. That's, that's, it works some of the time, I guess. Just not all the time. I mean, I understand, like, the tracks aren't made for 200 kilometers per hour, but still, kind of wish that worked a bit better. I'm really falling off quite a few times on this track. Yeah, that turn right there is pretty difficult. This turn works alright other than being lost in the air. But now I'm gonna see if I can do the little shortcut I was talking about. Basically you launch yourself this way and then you get get respawned um, near the finish line. So I don't know if it really saves any time, but you know, um, I guess it's easier. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, kinda wish it didn't count you out of bounds though because would be a pretty cool shortcut. But yeah, um, that track... I mean, I don't really know why it's in this pack. It doesn't work so well, but... Anyway. It's cool that the ramp, um... As looks like it might have been adjusted, though. To suit this mode a bit better. Now we have Mountain Adventure. Now this track... Um, is really long. And... You know, it doesn't really feel... I mean, it, you definitely feel like you're going fast, but... The turns aren't really that sharp. Um, like, a lot of times you don't even have to drift as tightly as possible to make a turn. Which is kind of nice. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just getting bumped all around the place. And these rocks... Um, you don't want to get stuck on them. It takes a few seconds to get down. And, um, yeah, that's never fun. If you trick off that first jump, you can actually get flown pretty high. And be stuck on the rocks for several seconds. So, other than the ramps that send you really high, I think this track works great. Like, look at this. I'm drifting almost as widely as possible. Um to make these turns on 200 kilometers per hour, which is pretty crazy. I can't imagine uh, how boring this would be on 150cc or slower. And right there, um, I hopped and then it got me off the sticky road, so that's unfortunate. But right here, there's another ramp. Sends you into the rocks if you don't slow down. Um, but other than those two ramps and maybe a couple turns in like this cave section that's coming up. I think the track works pretty uh, works pretty greatly for 200 km per hour racing. I mean just look at this turn right here. It looks like it looks like it was made for this uh, type of speed. I even think some of these turns could be a bit wider, but these ones right here, um, I mean a bit tighter. These turns right here kind of difficult, um, a, a little too narrow for 200 km per hour racing. Again, I don't know if this track was intended for going this fast or not, but um, I'd imagine it's pretty boring at playing at normal speed. Other than that, I don't know if I really have much to say about this track. Uh, I mean, it just works fairly well. Not the most interesting, the textures here are kind of weird. 
But also, I don't know if this blue shield is going to be able to catch me or not. Oh, it is if I keep doing, uh, keep bumping into walls. Alright, it's almost on me. Alright, not anymore. <laughs> Alright, it should be able to catch me now, alright? Yep, there it is. And a lightning insult to injury. And like I was saying, um, I just got stuck on the wall for so long there. It's crazy how long this boost panel is. And also, the, um, as you notice, this track is two laps, which is pretty long. Um, I feel like one lap would have been fine here. Um, since, I don't know, if you're playing online... I'd imagine this track normally takes like, what, maybe four minutes to finish? Something like that. Uh, which I'm getting pretty close to right now. And, yeah, I mean, I honestly feel like three minutes, 50 seconds is pretty long. Uh, a bit too long. Most Nintendo tracks never go like, even towards the three minute mark. Aside from maybe like, Rainbow Road or something. Um, but yeah, plays well other than a couple of ramps and um, that cave section. So I'm definitely glad it's in this pack. Right now for our last race here, we have Underground Mine, which is a very simple track. Uh, mostly like 90 degree square turns and I mean there's a sticky road section that lasts a couple seconds but other than that pretty simple track um, I remember playing this in hack pack there is a little bit of exploring you could do as well if you um, travel this way, and I mean, the CPUs, they're playing at normal speed anyway, so I might as well try it out. Uh, now you don't, you, you don't want to get hit by these fine carts like that. Um, the hitbox on them are pretty big, um, bigger than they appear. So, that's definitely something that you have to look out for, especially with, uh, these crazy, like, twisting minecarts, since they actually have moving hitboxes, um, pretty wild. Also, the texture of this road, like, it kind of makes an illusion. And right there, I think that's about as far as I can go. Um, right here's a little shortcut. Uh, not sure if it works well. Actually, yeah, that worked really well. But right here, the turn looks a lot farther than it is. It's like, it doesn't look like you're traveling as far as you are. Kind of a weird illusion with this road. Um, and I was kind of trying to bounce off the wall there, but uh, no, I just got counted out of bounds as soon as I got off the track. That's a bit strange. Um, Ooh, I got the lightning, nice. Might as well just use it right now. Hmm, I wonder if I could trick off that ramp and create a bit of a shortcut cutting off the turn. I have a feeling it's gonna count me out of bounds, but I'm gonna try it on the next lap. Ooh, that was close. Alright, here we are. I have a mushroom to boost my speed. And I missed the ramp. Wow. 
Um, I mean, oh, well, I never really got a respawn there. Unfortunately, I can't go back to try it out. Um, and I don't think I'm even going to win this race right now. Oh, well. It was, I tried at least. I think, um, the length of the track, though, um, I mean, normally it shouldn't take you almost three minutes to finish that. Since I went exploring for, like, a solid minute, I think. So normally that would take less than two minutes, I think. Um, I think that shortcut I tried earlier, though, um, that I did succeed in. That's great. Um, I think that's the way to go. You just slow down a bit before going down onto the ramp. And it sets you up uh, perfectly for the next turn. So I think that track works pretty well. Um, there are a couple sections you need to slow down. But not too bad, not too bad. And with that said, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And hope to see you in another video.